Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker, Scott Kirshner, and Troy Kirshner. Sometimes it's the uh, the fabulous Baker boys. It's the fabulous Kirshner boys today. <laughs> 419-794-3030 is the phone number, the website ARHQ.com. Now, Scott and Troy, a lot of retirees find out too late, for the most part, that Medicare doesn't cover most nursing home stays. Uh, can you go over what actually is covered, you know, as well as what isn't covered and I know part of the service that you guys offer, uh, an AMA checklist has an added value. Can you talk a bit about that to make sure, like I said, all the T's are, are crossed and all the I's are dotted? Yeah, a- absolutely, Chris. So, you know, there's a big misunderstanding with um, with long-term care and skilled nursing. You know, Troy's learned a ton uh, over this past year with us, and um, um, he's going to talk a little bit here about the uh, AMA checklist that we've put together and some of the key highlight points in there. Uh, but one thing that I will mention, and I'll let Troy take over here in a second, is uh, Medicare does not cover long-term care, right? I mean, right. it does not cover the long-term care. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that a lot of people understand is skilled nursing, long-term care coverage, uh, if, if you're in the hospital and you come out of the hospital, you may go to a skilled nursing facility, right? That's technically a long-term care facility as well. So that's where a lot of the confusion comes into play. You know, the skilled nursing is to help people get back to where they can go home and do their daily functions uh, and, you know, gain their strength back and things like that. You know, Troy, you you can tell the story about Grandma, you know, when she broke her back. But, uh, Troy, why don't you add a little bit to the the long-term care and, and how we help them? Yeah, a lot of our clients out there don't really understand what exactly Medicare covers. And one of the things that it unfortunately doesn't cover is long-term care. And uh, I know you mentioned the example about grandma. She, uh, she actually fell and broke her back. Uh, she's doing great now, might I add. But mm-hmm. uh, when she did fall and break her back, she was in the, I think, a skilled nursing facility for about three weeks. And that was all covered. But if she were to stay there for about 100 days or more, then nothing uh, uh, past that 100 days would have been covered. And one way for us to cover this po- this issue here is we would do a hybrid policy that we would sign them up for and then you know it would be a different type of long-term care rider and we just have to attach a couple of different things with it but we would be able to take care of them regardless and you know really when we think about it as we think about nursing homes in general a lion's share of the time i think it comes down to what is called custodial care absolutely as we get older we just generally slow down and you know we don't have the ability to perform our normal activities of daily living and you know, slowing down in life, that's where we talk about there's no coverage for your Medicare. Uh, skilled care, a similar example in my family situation. Uh, on my wife's side, my grandmother had fallen during mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. She had broke her hip. She went to the hospital, you know, stayed at the hospital for a couple of days and then went to a skilled nursing facility. Right. And at that skilled facility was, you know, just helping her get improvement to be able to come back home. Exactly. Now, even in that situation, there's a, a quite a bit of criteria that has to be followed, such as, mm-hmm. you know, the hospital stay, such as Troy that you had pointed out, you know, during days one through 20, there's really no co-payment. Uh, day 21 through day 100, it's a $200 a day co-payment. And then right. after day 100, you pay 100% of the cost. So it's not surprising that the average family really can get wiped out in a short amount of time when they need some long-term care. Now, the, the three of us, we had sat down and we talked about the fact of, you know, now that you had gone past and gotten past the extremely busy fourth quarter helping people make the selections on Medicare, supplement, advantage plans, you know, going back to clients and having a conversation and talking to them about making sure that we did cross the T's and dot the I's. Because I know it's whether you call an 800 number, maybe somebody came out to the house, or you're sitting down and working with us, health insurance and navigating the landscape can be something that's very mm-hmm. confusing. And being that you guys do this full time, it's important to make sure that they understand all the ins and outs of where it's covered. Because the last thing you want to do is, you know, years down the road, end up in a facility and all of a sudden you in a crisis situation and you get this big bill. So one of the things that we had come up with that we put together is the America's Medicare Associates, the checklist. Now, within the checklist, I think we've identified roughly 20 different things that we can help out with here around America's retirement headquarters. I think, you know, one of the things that people love about working with us is how these things kind of overlap. So the decisions you make with your finances impact your health care, 
and impact taxes and vice versa. But there was a couple of these items, Troy, that we had talked about that I think are areas that would be important that when people are looking at what does Medicare cover and what are some of the things that I should be focusing on the checklist, what are the other items that really kind of jump out to you? Right. So the reason we made this checklist is just for the best need of our clients. You know, we're always searching for that and we just like to help in whatever ways we offer. And we want to make sure that you guys get everything, all the services that we offer. So one of the things that we have on the checklist is do you currently have estate plans in place? And I know, I know Dad, you and Nolan made up a uh, review of the ultimate estate planning checklist. So that's one of the things that we have on the checklist. Another one that we offer is a life insurance review. Um, we also have, uh, do you have any lazy assets earning less than 5%? And these are all things that we'll be able to help with. So we'll go through this list and just identify what we can help you with, and it's, we'll be able to take care of it. Another thing we have is the 2024 tax roadmap and checklist, which is another thing we offer on there. And then we also do serve a, a get connected, which is where you come in for an, a second appointment or in another appointment, and we'll just sit you down, go through the things we didn't first mention and when, uh, for your first Medicare appointment. We'll also just kind of go over what help you set up your uh, online account for whatever policy or plan you sign up for, and that's one of the other things one of the, that's on the list, and we'll just be able to help you in whatever way we can. Yeah, that, uh, you know, the, the Get Connected is something, um, you know, I've, I've been in this a long time, uh, doing this for 29 years, and... Um, uh, Nolan, I take a page from your history and, and your knowledge and some of the things that, that you do with your um, you know investment clients is that get connected. And I think that is so uh, valuable to the people. At least that's what the clients are telling us. So what we'll do with that get connected is we'll bring you back in. And once you get your ID card and your welcome packet from your insurance carrier, and then what we'll do is sit down and actually go through and create your online account. Um, a lot of people don't have, uh, you know, a computer at home. They may have a um, uh, an iPad. Uh, I think that's what they call it, right? An iPad? Something like that, yeah. yeah. They may have an iPad or something uh, where they might use it on their phone. So we'll create that account, and then we'll make sure we do just kind of a, uh, a recap of all of the benefits that they currently have in place. Uh, so that Get Connected is something that... Um, kind of sets us apart from a lot of the other advisors out there uh, because uh, a, a lot of people just don't do that and bring them, bring them back in. You know, but like what uh, Troy was talking about with that uh, AMA checklist, there are several other items. Those are just kind of key highlighted points that we put out there. But there are all kinds of different things that we've put together to kind of find a, 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 a uncovered need that you may have that you didn't realize you had. And unless somebody ask you about it, you may not think about it off the top of your head. Well, I, I would agree. And it, it's so much easier to know now before a crisis situation happens, not to say that we can't help in a crisis situation, but, you know, using the one example of having a discussion about long-term care, you know, there are multiple different solutions that are available for people who need long-term care. Uh, of course, there's traditional long-term care insurance. There's annuities with chronic illness income riders. There are life insurance plans that mm -hmm. offer riders that are associated with them. Uh, there's even, you know, veteran benefits. And, you know, I have had a, a handful of uh, clients that we've met with, Vietnam veterans mm -hmm. that have come in. Um, and a lot of these Vietnam veterans have been impacted with uh, Agent Orange. And so, so a lot of these veterans, you know, as we're having this topic of conversation, they not, may not realize what their entitlements are through service to our country. Sure. We have here you know, in Lucas County, what's called the Veteran Service Organization. And most people that are listening, depending on whatever county you have, you also have a Veteran Service of Office that you can get together with people. And whether it's understanding, you know, would a nursing home be covered if you needed long-term care? You know, what are your benefits as a veteran if you end up going into a facility? And those are the type of things that, you know, by going through this checklist, crossing the T's and dotting the I's, you're going to be able to make the best educated decision about should you make a decision to do something? Because doing nothing is still a decision. Right. Doing nothing is really letting it lay up to chance. And we don't want to leave this up to chance. We want to put the odds in your favor and help make you be able to make a more informed decision. So if you want to get that AMA checklist, you want to go through that, you're worried about how to protect your assets from a nursing home, just give us a call at the office. We'd be happy to sit down to go through that AMA checklist. Make sure you cross the T's and dot the I's on all the areas that uh, could impact you and your loved ones moving forward.
And that number is 419-794-3030. Once again, 419-794-3030. It's the Boy Scout motto, be prepared. You don't want the the what ifs to become what nows because of a lack of planning. You to take advantage of this. Make sure that you have all those T's crossed, all those I's dotted. 419-794-3030 or arhq.com.